Arana. 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 Hold on to your seats because the celebrity gossip mill is working overtime. First up, the shocking rumors about Taylor potentially becoming a novelist. Can you imagine? Well, Swifties, don't get too excited just yet. The truth behind Taylor's supposed secret novel might leave you disappointed. Next, we've got Travis spilling the tea on his recent oops moment with Patrick Mahomes. Let's just say even the best can have an off day. Speaking of Kelsey, this whirlwind romance with Taylor is making headlines for more than just love. Think millions, business deals, and even a hit podcast. But not everyone's here for the Kelsey content. Fans are seriously divided on the brothers' off-field antics, with some begging them to stick to football. And finally, Lana Del Rey is setting the record straight on those wild dating rumors with an alligator tour guide. Spoiler alert, it's all fake news. Stay tuned because this is just the tip of the scandalous iceberg. Taylor's novel dreams? Okay, let's talk about the wild ride of rumors that had everyone buzzing this morning. So, word on the street was that Taylor Swift, the queen of dropping hits and heartbreak anthems, might be adding novelists to her ever-growing resume. Yes, you heard that right! The gossip mills were working overtime, hinting that after wrapping up her epic eras tour, Taylor would be diving into the literary world. The whispers all started with this supposed novel Taylor wrote at the tender age of age 14, titled A Girl Called Girl. The story was said to be about a mother who had hoped for a son, but got a daughter instead. A total drama fest, right? Insiders claim Taylor had even secured trademarks for the book, audio versions, and, wait for it, merch. Like, can you imagine a whole line of a girl called girl swag? But before you start planning your next book club read, let me hit you with the truth. According to sources close to Taylor, these novel rumors are just that. Rumors. The idea of her stepping into the author game might sound dreamy, but it's not happening. At least not yet. Swifties, don't lose hope, though. It's Taylor we're talking about. She loves to surprise us. So what's next for Tay? After closing out her record-breaking tour in Canada, it looks like she's planning a much-needed break. But knowing Taylor, she's probably cooking up something big. Maybe Reputation Taylor's version will drop, or maybe she'll surprise us all with a new twist. Either way, we're all just waiting on the edge of our seats. Kelsey's Oops Moment So let's dive into the juicy details of that now legendary behind-the-back pass from Patrick Mahomes. What really went down? None other than Travis Kelsey himself. In the latest episode of the New Heights podcast, where Travis teams up with his brother, he spilled all the tea. It turns out that this epic play wasn't exactly how it was drawn up. Travis confessed that he wasn't fully tuned into the game plan. Classic preseason vibes, right? Pat being Pat decided to improvise. Kelsey admitted, yeah, I screwed this one up. He wasn't entirely sure what was happening, but hey, when you've got a guy like Mahomes under center, Kelsey was out of sync and decided to pull one of the craziest moves we've seen in a while. Well, you guys didn't play that much in the uh, preseason games of starters, but you did play. It included you, and it was a behind-the-back pass. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, I motioned over, and I'm actually, I'm looking at Pat while I'm I'm motioning over, like, what did you say? Larry Bird, the big 33. It's a smooth operator right there. Magic Johnson style. Uh, you don't get a week to prepare for the game plan yeah. going into a preseason game. He had like something in the back of his head when I walked when I walked across the line of scrimmage. Is like, what'd you say that I didn't know what I was doing? So he makes you right. <laughs> this is just a boot play uh, naked. Did what I did and then got the first down this way. <laughs> um, Travis described the moment like a scene out of a sports card, with the ball just floating toward him in slow motion. He knew it was a critical third and short, so he did what he had to do: grab those sticks and kept the drive alive. Despite the post, he, you know he's got the voice thing, and so he kind of mumbled out the play. I couldn't hear it. I was walking up to the line. I was like trying to decipher what he was saying. It wasn't. It wasn't a play. No, it was a play. It's a first down. You know, I was trying to go help my guy out. By the time I looked over there, he was already in mid form. Before I knew it, he snapped the ball, and uh, yeah, and then I kind of saw him out of my peripheral run to the sideline, so like a photo on a on a sports card throwing the ball to me. Sir K, okay, uh, you know everybody's going to be talking about it. You had to talk about it this week because of what happened in practice. If you did it in a game today, tell us about that play. Travis didn't run the route he was supposed to run, <laughs> and then it was kind of a behind the – out of spite, I threw a behind the back pass, but now it's going to be a highlight. I don't know if you can hear me on the broadcast. I'm yelling at him, and then he doesn't run it, so. 
Travis, love and millions. All right, let's dish about the NFL's new power couple, Travis and Taylor. It's like something out of a Hollywood rom-com. NFL star meets global pop sensation, and the world can't get enough. Travis, who's already riding high with a net worth of $70 million, has taken things to the next level with his high-profile romance. First, let's talk dollars and cents. Travis isn't just making bank on the field, though his $57 million contract extension with the Chiefs is nothing to sneeze at. He's branching out, dabbling in business ventures like Travis Kelsey's Kitchen, where he's serving up some serious barbecue. Plus, he's got a fashion collaboration with the Chiefs that's probably flying off the shelves faster than Taylor's concert tickets. But wait, there's more. Travis is also stepping into the media spotlight with his wildly successful New Heights podcast, co-hosted with his brother Jason. They just inked a whopping $100 million deal with Amazon's Wondery. And if that's not enough, he's hosting a game show and even flexing his acting chops on FX's Grotesquerie. Travis is everywhere and he's loving it. Of course, even a guy like Kelsey has faced a few bumps in the road, like those pesky $200,000 in back taxes. But he's paid off most of his debts and is now back on track, focused on his future. And what a future it is, especially with Taylor Swift by his side. These two are jet-setting around the globe, sharing romantic moments that have fans swooning. It's clear that while Travis's net worth is climbing, his relationship with Taylor is what really has him on cloud nine. Stick to football. So the Kelsey brothers Travis and Jason are getting a little heat from fans these days, and it's not about their game on the field. Fans are voicing their opinions, and let's just say not everyone's loving the brothers' recent ventures outside of football. It all started with a video of Jason Kelsey, who's retired from the NFL and now co-hosts the New Heights podcast with Travis. In this clip, Jason is playing the Who's Most Likely To Couples Edition game with his wife Kylie. Cute, right? Well, not everyone thinks so. One fan bluntly commented, let's stick to football content, while others chimed in with less than enthusiastic takes calling it cringe and weird. Ouch. Apparently, some fans are just not here for the spooning and love confessions. They want more football talk, less lovey-dovey content. But let's be real, not everyone was hating on it. Some people found the banter adorable, with one person even praising Kylie for being the one in charge. And can we talk about the little spoon debate? One fan hilariously noted, As a man, if you've never been the little spoon, you're missing out. Who eats the most? Who's most likely to fall asleep during a movie? Who's the first to apologize during an argument? Who likes to be the big spoon? Who said I love you first? Now, Travis isn't exactly off the hook either. He's been gushing over his relationship with Taylor on the podcast, especially during an episode with Adam Sandler. The Happy Gilmore star couldn't stop praising Taylor, calling her the best performer out there and sharing how much his family loves her. Travis, clearly smitten, was all in with the compliments, leading some fans to feel a little oversaturated with all things Kelsey and Swift. By the way, what a girl. What a girl. Anytime Taylor's laughing with you, my whole fucking family's like high-fiving and, <laughs> yes, look how good they are together. Look how <laughs> together and you being, you guys, you're, I mean, that first, when it, you guys first started dating, my God, was my family like. <laughs> so good, man. You got to be sweating over here. He's a gentleman and, and she's having so much fun with it. Like throughout the years, Saturday Night Live had, saw the kids there, took her time, hung out with them at her premiere for the movie. Movie. She talked to the kids and talked to them about their movie. She just floors my family. So cool, man. Floors them. You know, they did this bat mitzvah movie and she talked about what she liked in it. And somebody asked me, who do you get nervous around? I said, I do get nervous around Taylor Swift because I don't want to <laughs> blow it for my kids and say something <laughs> stupid. So I'm just like. So what's the verdict? While some fans are loving this peek into the Kelsey brothers' personal lives, others are begging them to get back to what they do best football taylor in our house every tune they knew every word start taylor, to finish you know when we start to finish it, yeah. it's not like three hits and you go all right let me skip no. what she meant to to young girls what she means to women I loved listening to her in the car i love what she had to say every message oh, yeah. what she means to guys doing the right thing and she means so much to our house since the kids by the way what a girl what a girl you what, know man. what a i you mean know. Best she performer meets, out here. And we listened to, and the kids were little, and we were listening to Taylor Swift and listening to, I think I was shooting 
like grown ups or that's my boy or something in Massachusetts. Like when I was a kid, I think the Beatles you did that with, maybe Elton John, every song. It was one of the fir first times that you listen to every song on the record. Lana shuts down rumors. Lana Del Rey is setting the record straight on the latest round of dating rumors. The internet was buzzing with speculation that she was romantically involved with alligator tour guide Jeremy Dufresne, but Lana quickly put those rumors to bed with a single word, no. It all started when a fan page on Instagram shared juicy details about Lana's supposed latest boyfriend, but when Lana herself popped into the comments, she wasted no time shutting it down. And as if that wasn't enough, the fan page also posted a screenshot of a tweet from someone claiming to be Dufresne's daughter adding even more drama to the mix. But Lana wasn't having any of it. She clarified that this Twitter user had no connection to Dufresne either. Talk about a mic drop! So where did all these rumors come from? Apparently, it started with a TikTok video showing Lana and Dufresne holding hands in London, sparking a frenzy among fans. The Daily Mail even reported that the pair were spotted visiting Harrods and a pub together. But here's the kicker. Lana has known Dufresne for years. She first met him back in 2019 when she took one of his alligator tours in Louisiana. They've kept in touch and even followed each other on social media, which seems to have fueled the gossip fire. But despite their history and friendly interactions, Lana is clearly not dating Dufresne. It looks like fans will have to wait a bit longer for any real romance news from the summertime sadness singer. For now, Lana's just enjoying life. No gators or guides involved. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.